Oh, it's sick. There you go. That should take. That should kill him. Yeah, that was a hit, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's out of ammo. Oh no! Oh, just at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get away. Uh, you get away today. Um, it's an illusion. So I recently visited Saab during a research and filming trip over in Sweden and they gave me exclusive access to a Gripen CD. Now you might have already seen the full walk around video on that, but I can't show the cockpit of that aircraft simply because, well, there are certain things in there that, um, yeah, it's, you know, the plane's in service, you know what I'm saying. So I talked with the people at Saab and they agreed that it would be really cool to show off the cockpit anyway. So they gave me access to a simulator. Yeah, I'm actually a full fidelity simulator that they use also then with extended options, of course, for pilot training. It is in fact set up as a Gripen E, so it has that wide angle display. It's a very futuristic look. It's not going with those gauges and instruments that you might be familiar with from traditional cockpits. And it really was a fantastic experiment, virtually flying Gripen E with, of course, a very knowledgeable pilot, Yussi. He used to fly vegans, then he went over to Grippens, explaining the ins and out of this, doing some, well, some takeoffs, some landing, and of course, we also did some combat, BVR, IR missiles, as well as some guns, and I gotta say, the flying part was fine, the fighting part was fine, but I did mess up big time with my guns. But, you know what, see for yourself. Now you will see your speed picking up here in knots. Yeah. You can just maintain your course along the center line here. When you come to uh, uh, an index, this L index here, that means that you have sufficient speed to take off. Okay. So you can now start pulling back on your... There you go. There you go. But this is now your heading and this is now your altitude in yeah. Q and H feet. There you go. So now get that gear in, very good. You just climb up to whatever, 10, 15,000 feet and make a right to about 050. Five zero. Zero five zero it is. We should have some threat uh, aircraft uh, moving towards us in a while from the uh, northeast. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basic fly, flight check trajectory. If you have navigation, you know, you don't have any waypoints, then you will have some uh, indication around uh, the heading scale up there to where you should be going. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, all kinds of threat target information will be displayed here as well. That's barrel setting, that's standard. That's normally a transition around five to 6,000 feet, depending on where you fly. Yeah, so far, it's yeah. it flies very mm -hmm. smooth, it's nice. It's even, it has uh, all of just a little bit, like most simulators, just a tiny, tiny bit of digital lag. Yeah. It's yeah, actually a lot easier to fly in real life and also you will feel the movements and the, and the motion in your body and so. Yeah. So uh, we already went through, the, you find the, or the altitude hold button, it's on your index finger on your right. Oh there. yeah. Uh, so you can just select that. Yeah. And now you can release of the stick, you can see how the presentation changes. Mm. When it comes, you will get these little boxes up here. That means that you will now, you will now maintain your altitude. If you press your right pedal slightly, ever so slightly, yeah. you will see that you can now make some adjustments here like with said. the pedals, yeah. which good. can be useful in transition flights, but also if you are busy working head down and want to do just a little bit of maneuvering to mm -hmm. crank away from a threat or something like that. Now if you look at your wide area display down here, yeah. so uh, this is you obviously you're in the middle. This is now your where your radar volume is interesting being set. Uh, you get all kinds of other information of threats. These are the threats, uh, airborne threats you have. You have bullseye. So you can go now and, uh, and select a point of one of those threats there. The threats, uh, airborne threats you have, you have bullseye. So you can go now and, uh, and select a point of one of those threats there. Yeah, you can just go a little bit. You have a function where you will always go to the closest object, but we don't, you, I will give, it, give it a challenge right now. And, and so you can now do a track while scan or uh, like you like, prioritize threat. And you select your own weapon. Yeah. So you will now see now for demo mode on your own generic weapon in terms of uh, 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 weapons engagement zone. So maximum launch, uh, this is an indication of uh, some maneuver limit uh, for that weapon. But this is kind of the generic uh, in principle. And these change, if you, start, if you maneuver, go right and left, you will then see how the kinematics uh, uh, change dynamically, depending on your ratio in terms of uh, headings and speeds and so on. Okay. So if you now start turn towards him a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, 
still you are flying now with uh, uh, passive radar, yep. so all this information is being supplied by command and control. And you can also see it in this information field on the wide area display, it says C, which means command and control. You can all get all the other indication of what is the sources of that data fusion that supplies this track currently. Yeah. So we will now have set your radar. Now you will have your own radar also set. Oh yeah, I see the change there. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you will now get some different, you can also, you don't have to make a track while scan. You can fire at any target from okay. any source. So now that means this, uh, your weapons engagement will now turn green, which means that you can fire your missile. So uh, you can missile. fire your missile against that hostile track there. Okay, let's so you go. just fire, trigger off, trigger away, and then the late arm switch back onto safe. There we go. We're on safe. And now you will see that this uh, there is a uh, a line like a missile polygon here. Oh yeah. Which is now displaying green means uh, that you have a sufficient data link up and down yeah. between the missile and the aircraft. And also green dot yeah. means that it yeah. has sufficient kinematics to actually defeat that target. Yeah. If you look at the head-up display here now, yeah. you will get some indication of uh, your actual gimbal limits for missile support and also to uh, continue yeah. tracking that uh, uh, track or hostile target with your radar. So it yeah. will give you all the information really in head-up, uh, similarly in head-up. Oh, down. a splash. There we go. Oh, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, a clear indication of uh, BVR Higgs. So missile has now told you that it has actually the, the proximity fuse has triggered. Yeah. It will send you a message back, and then that will happen. Okay, of course. And if you select uh, 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 IR missile, so that was uh, that one to the to the left, I think. To the left. There we go. Now you will see a different kind of uh, kind of uh, you get. Normally, an IR missile you would look head up here. Yeah. So it will give you this little kind of uh, aiming reticle circle here. And as soon as you come close to the target within your weapons engagement zone, uh, that means that you radar uh, lock on target. So this line will start moving uh, clockwise to the kind of uh, outer range. And then it will be the optimum launch zone and then the inner, inner launch zone. That's kind of the general principle of, uh, of an aiming reticle. Left. left. Yes, there you go. And now you see this changing. Right? Oh, yes. So it's, you can fly it now. So it's just... Uh, Already? Yes, you can. So this okay. is the, off -side. this is in a in a firing range. So that's good. Obviously, we, with IR missiles, you can choose to uncage the seeker. Yeah. And you get the IR ooh IR tone, but you can operate it like that as well. Most challenging ex engagement actually the air to air gun engagement. So if you if you go uh, safe on your late arm again, yeah. And then you select uh, uh, the air to air gun to uh, your right, down, to the red, right, right. Okay. Gun. So then we will just find the target. Oh, so that's, that's 25 degrees, 35 degrees to your, to your right there. Lock your radar oh. on that target. Did we just pass him? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, there he is. Okay, there he is, yeah. Oh. yeah. There, there he is. There we go, we're getting closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't want to overshoot now. We just pull back yeah. on your throttle and it'll be fine. Oh, actually, should, you should get him now. Oh no, <laughs> that was an easy shot, mm. completely messed up. Yeah, hit properly with yeah. a high precision on an air-to-air -air gun engagement when you are moving and your target is moving, it is not easy. Uh, obviously you'd like to use radar like you did now, but uh, so it's, it's a subject for some training, that's why we do it also live against yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, told targets uh, in real life. So. Yeah. Now it's a good, there you go, that should take, that should kill him. Yeah, that was a hit I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's out of ammo. Oh no, oh, just at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get away. Yeah, you get mm. away today. Um, it's an illusion 76. Yeah. Mm. Okay, um, mm. to go back to base, how yes. do we do that? We will now, you can... Your sensors have said, okay, this is now ILS, and we mm. are on our way. That looks all good. Now, now you see, we have to speed up a little bit. Yeah. That's great. You can see how quick it is in response, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, the engine. Oh, yeah. Maintain your speed, so uh, you put your vector on this horizon here, yep. so up a little bit. There you go, perfect, that's good. There we go. So as soon as you hit the glide slope and the uh, kind of, uh, uh, center line, it will now start guiding you where to go, so it will be just a moment. So right now we're too fast again, yeah? Yeah, slightly, so we can just come down a little, come down a little bit. 
trying to learn the balance here for the first time. Yeah, it's the first time, so it, you're doing really well, so it's a good job. As soon as you, as, as long as you start by putting your flight vector symbol on the horizon, then yeah. you will always maintain your altitude, and then you can take the rest from there. So very soon it will give you a, a, a glide slope as well. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready for very good. Stuff. Just relax if you're doing fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> You've done like what, what ten thousand of yeah, these? Many, uh, yeah, many, more. many days, many years of training. <laughs> oh yeah, of course the rain now. Yeah, turbulence as well. We'll give some wet, some. <laughs> but we can play with all kinds of different things with it. Perfect speed control. Yeah. Don't go too much. Don't don't go lower than this. You go up a little bit. Yeah. And this is where you will be going. So ILS glide slope will start. Presentation will start changing soon. If not, I'd have to do this. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this little Increase. little dot here, yeah. if you put that one inside your flight vector symbol, it gives you ideal a glide slope against that one. Now you are descending, so that you speed control again, that's good. Yeah. So right. up, up a little bit. So ideally this dot should be uh, in this horizontal line. Okay. That, that looks very good. Just up. Yeah, that's perfect. That's fine. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm doing really well. Well done. Okay. Perfect. Speed mm. is slightly high. Ah, it's perfect. It's Actually, uh, approach speed is 170, uh, okay. what in according to the air traffic regulations. So, uh, ah, and also you see that uh, it's very good to yeah. in speed control. Ah, looks very well. Very well done. Mm. There we go. Mm. Not all people do it this well in the first first <laughs> try, so you're doing really well. Or maybe they're doing better with the balance. <laughs> <laughs> there mm. we go. There we go. Now you can start looking at the uh, outside. See, okay, right. because you're so low. So, so 200 feet is normally the minimum mm -hmm. minima for an ILS approach like this. A bit hazy, like today, in my mm -hmm. We're getting there, we're getting yeah. there. Yeah, see. Well, I'm flaring now. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of control. That's good. And then you will find the brakes on top of the pedals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. so, well done. Like, thank you very That's much. Very good. It was Hope good. you enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for the tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's very intuitive. You know, I Good. think yeah. I have to yes. do it a couple of more times, yeah. and then, mm -hmm. then maybe I can hit that illusion. Yeah. <laughs> the next uh, next step is then to do kind of the, the tactical air unit collaboration. Yes. How uh, how all the kind of we talked about earlier today in the yeah. briefing. How active passive sensors work together mm -hmm. and could create awareness and data fusion yeah. with with or without uh, command and control. And also to see that how well that actually works. Okay. Uh, and uh, how you can use uh, the data that is available for you. Yeah. So uh, we'll how everything... On the next visit. Yeah, next, next time. But how everything is changing, like we yeah. talked about. So uh, a yeah. pilot would no longer be entirely in control of his own or her mm. own sensors yeah. because it's being used by everybody. So that's sure. uh, the network-enabled uh, warfighting of today. So if at this point you want to see more, do check out membership options via Patreon or channel memberships over on YouTube because I've already uploaded a bunch of tours that you will have access to as channel supporters. And also, don't forget, you also get access to the Discord server and there's also bi-monthly get-togethers there where we talk about all things aviation. So if that sounds like a plan to you, check it out. The links are in the description below. Big thank you here, of course, for SAP for the invite as well as all Patreons and channel members who make these study and research trips possible. As always, have a great day and see you in the sky.